myself. Oh, Mad Caroline again. Man, my steering wheel's dirty. But um, time to clean my car. But yeah, so I've gone three days. True and blue. Oh, Mad. I love the accountability I'm doing. If you guys aren't following along in the community tab, I post a picture of my dry erase board with my goals of the day as far as like eating OMAD and fitness and maybe how I'm feeling in the notes. So I've got a three day streak of true and blue OMAD. Hopefully it continues, but tonight I'm having dinner with my old employee. He, he was a super great friend. Um, I used to work for a big soda company and I was in charge of all the equipment. So I was in charge of installation and delivery and um, repairs. So I had a lot of technicians. I had a lot of delivery drivers, um, installation um, teams. So yeah, I was in charge of all that. So when I took on this um, position, I was in charge of all of Great Lakes region, you guys. So when I took on this position, I never worked for a soda industry. I do come from a past of um, construction and, um, and worked in factories as far as like repairs and parts, stuff like that. But anyways, I've never worked for the soda industry. So as far as like um, installing a fountain unit and coffee unit and stuff like that, that was all new to me. And then like repairing like, you know, soda vending machines or juicers, stuff like that. I had no idea like what went into that. So when I first went on board, I picked one of my technicians out and said, hey, I'm hanging out with you for two or three weeks and I wanna learn how to repair everything. Not that I was gonna repair anything, but I wanted to be able to understand how long it would take to do certain jobs. I wanted to call BS on people milking out stuff. So anyways, so Bill P was the guy that I hung out with and I loved him. He was, a, he just, you could tell he was an honest man. He had a lot of integrity. He didn't pull punches. He told you like it is. And, and he was real honest with me. And so anyways, um, after I spent some time with him, you know, I had a big parts room and it needed revamped. Like there's so much loss. Like we were, oh, it just, I don't even want to go into that. That was a job in of itself. So I was like, you know, I could really use somebody's help on here, you know, especially figuring out like what parts we currently still use, what we don't, stuff like that. So uh, I ended up pulling Bill P in from the field and he kind of became my right hand man. Um, kind of, I kind of made him into like a foreman, if that makes sense. So anyways, I pulled him in. He became my right hand man. We became really good friends. Like I'm telling you, you guys, I like, I know I seem sweet, but I used to have such a freaking bad temper. Like, um, I was not very Christian, like in my work experience. And I had to deal with a lot of salespeople that promised stuff that I couldn't deliver. And I would go off and then sometimes I would go off in emails and stuff to my bosses. Now, now remember for a while there, well, for most of the time I would be like, Bill P, before I send this, read it. And he would read it and he was like, yeah, you can't talk like that. He would kind of read over what my temperament, temperamental emails before I would send them out and kind of talk me down from the clip and write more professionally. So he was really a good friend. So like I said, but I then got kind of headhunted to another company that I moved on to. And when I left the soda company, I took Bill P with me and I actually got him um, a very high level management job and he did amazing. And then um, he actually moved on from there. After I moved on, he moved on from there and he has an excellent, excellent job and he's so happy and I can't wait to catch up with him. So anyways, with all of that, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about my friend Bill P. All that, I haven't seen or talked to him probably for over a year and we're having dinner tonight. So 
As far as my window being open for only an hour, I got a feeling it's going to be open longer. We're probably going to have some drinks and chit chat and catch up and it's okay. And I know I only have one meal and then drinks, but I still really believe that for me, my definition of OMAD is one hour window every day. So I gotta think that my streak is gonna end at three days today. But who, who knows? Who knows? I'll let you know tomorrow. I'll let you, or I'll let you know tonight when I um, post my dry erase board. So, but I got a feeling I'll probably be starting at one tomorrow. So, yeah. But anyways, um, when I posted that picture of my dry erase board, Scott, I believe, um, commented and said, hey, where did you get those worksheets? And I told him, well, it's actually a dry erase board, but it inspired me. Maybe I'll make some worksheets um, in a PDF file and I'll put the link where you guys can download them if you want to participate because he had an idea and he's like, wouldn't it be cool to see who can go the longest and with good consistency? And I was like, I love that idea, Scott. I love it. So I am thinking that I'm gonna, um, I actually am heading to the kids' shop to do their books and then I'm gonna go home and get my workout in and then maybe I'll try to make some PDF templates of kind of what I'm using and post the link so you guys can download those. And then if you guys wanna participate in consistency, you got a little bit of tools. You don't have to use them, but then maybe you guys can share you know, when I post where I am at as far as my status of consistency, maybe you guys can post like in the comments where your consistency is at the time. I, I, it has been very helpful for me this past three days. Like yesterday, I didn't get my workout in, in the morning and normally I don't miss workouts at all. But man, you guys, yesterday I was feeling pooped. I was feeling pooped, man. And I was like, oh, I do not feel like doing a workout. And then I've been, my grandson keeps shoving his freaking food in my mouth at lunchtime. So then I, I'm like, okay, my window's broken now. So I've got to, um, I've got to end up eating OMAD for lunch. And then, so like, luckily the first two days it didn't affect me, but yesterday I got hungry, like around seven o'clock. Thank God I had to work out at 7, even though I didn't feel like it. But I tell you what, if it wasn't for the consist for me posting the picture of my whiteboard every week or every single day, sorry, I got to watch traffic. I probably would have snacked last night and I probably wouldn't have done my workout, but because of you guys and knowing I got to post that I wanted to stay the course, so um, I went down, got my workout in late, like at seven o'clock, and stuck with OMAD, so yeah, I'm really happy about that, but yeah, so let me know if you guys want to participate in the consistency challenge, and let's see who can do the most day streak. Like I said, I got a feeling I'm just going to be starting over tomorrow, but we will see. All right, you guys, um, that's it for me.